Hello everybody, my name is Reda, I am an Egyptian working as a senior developer in a software company. I'd like to introduce to you in this video uh, rendering or adding checkboxes to data table. I found that it is better to begin by the output so that everyone can see if, if is, uh, that what he matches the, his requirement or not. As you can see, uh, here it is a data table that contains the search, uh, search contains the uh, pages that I can transfer through. The new here is that I added a checkbox to a data table. The, the, the traditional way that we used to work is to choose record through a button, pressing the button to get its details. This was the traditional way. What differs the traditional way than this way is that the previous one, the button is in the page I'm working with. I have a data table in. But the new uh, way that I will show you now, the link is external, maybe in a menu editor or uh, maybe in another page as order list here. So I can uh, check any box or the row I need, then go to the link to display its details. The difference, as I said, is that here we use an external link, not the link in the same page. The link is outside our is that if that is what you need then you can proceed for the details and the code we can take a new look about the data table I here need a link to ad uh, admin LTE I found it uh, to a great extent satisfying data table with most of its features here choose tables data tables then from inspect we can get our code that is the way I began with to get the, the code of data table with the features I need which is search box and the paging script. You don't need to, to make it because you will find the file attached uh, at the link of a video. It is uh, zipped, you can download it uh, from there and it contains the project with the links needed and with the database.back where you can restore it to a created one. So no need to take here the inspect and copy paste because you will find the project in the link uh, shown below. After you restore the database, you are working on SQL Server, you restore the database, you will need to, to make a model for that database. So to make the model from a database, we need a command called scaffold scaffold here there's a link to Microsoft where I can use this command here comes the scaffold for the whole database or scaffold for the tables I need you just copy and paste this uh, line in, in the script PM uh, console and it will generate your the model from the database Here is the project. Uh, as you see, here is the models after being scaffolded. I scaffolded all the whole database. And the uh, startup that contains the link to the connection 
here it is the, uh, the default connection in JSON in app settings JSON file here is app settings JSON where I may where I write the connection string I think you know about the connection string and how to write it I don't want to waste time in uh, these issues Okay, now we have upsetting the JTS the connection, and we have the startup. Startup is very simple. You uh, you can use the built-in one and the connection to the JSON till we reach our layout page, which contains the scripts found in the data table I've just shown. It contains CSS for admin and JavaScript for admin LTE and for also the data tip. Layout also contains two forms, if you see. It is main menu, which if the sidebar menu or left side menu, and render body, this is equivalent to the index that is shown at the starting of the project. Main menu has a link, the link order list that we we have shown before it has uh, the link order list with ID customer ID and the index is a page where I display the tip of course index uses database Northwind with table or class customer from models as you see at model i enumerable this is a project name dot models dot customers then the uh, traditional way of a table that is uh, table id equal what and class what here it has t uh, tr the header t head and then the columns for each variable in the model I write column by column column and this is the bottom the old way for calling uh, the tradition for calling details of a row the new here is the table is contained in a form which uh, goes to the controller home and method customer order ID with and it has name form example while the table has name of example although here it is contained in a form I will not use that form you will see how it is only a, a, a way to to manage our script if you see tr t row first column it has nothing here while it has data has no header because this will be hidden and this is the value uh, I will take its value as we will see in the script in the layout layout contains in addition of uh, main menu and index of course we know and CSS and JavaScript string needed it contains the script that will link the main menu with the index main menu where the link order list is found and index where the data table is found here if i press the link cast order id as we can see here it will ask is form example dot length uh, uh, greater than zero and example dot length greater than zero this means are you found in the page w which contains form form example and table example if yes I am in that form then prevent default this means I will not go to the submit action of a form that goes to controller home and method customer no prevent default means don't do the uh, the required action or the supposed action 
no don't do that prevent from doing it and go to form example dot submit form example dot submit sorry before we go to form example dot submit uh, I should have told you about the data table here it has the properties I got from the script of a data table uh, what is important for me here is column defs this is to render the checkbox to the column I want I can render it to column 0 column 10 if I want it at the end of uh, columns if I want it at the beginning then targets will be 0 and what is important also is render render that calls a function here input type checkbox name ID value it will be taken from the HTML data so I will add a control checkbox of name ID and have the value of column 0 which is customer ID okay we said that we will prevent the defaults from the previous script and go to form example dot submit some scripts I wrote for validation, you can use it for validation purposes. But what is important also is that one form example dot on submit it will check take checkbox variable uh, input from the checkbox and then it will uh, another variable to see if it is checked or not. Here's some validation. If the checkbox is uh, with Agbar, uh, then one. If I uh, choose more than checkbox, then you couldn't choose more than customer. If I didn't choose at all, that means count is equal to zero. Then please choose a customer. Here I prevented the default action to go to the submit also, and. I take an instance uh, form, form equal to this, and then uh, look for each uh, to see what is the record checked for me. If if I am on the checked record, then the form will append input of type hidden and name this dot name and uh, with value. Uh, this dot value. This dot name is a customer ID and its value. Then it has name of a customer ID and valuable value of customer ID. I put the value in variable Z and then if I equal zero, that is the variable uh, uh, from the variable value from uh, the, the order list. If I equal zero, then go to the controller home of action cast order see the way I put the value here I concatenated it with the URL action. the same way we can use other links and give values to every link here my customer order ID I have taken value zero we can add other links with IDs different and of different values also and ask about it in that script in the form dot submit form example dot submit that's the way of course it will go to the controller home with method customer orders where where I have a context DB from north wind and then DB uh, dot orders do include employees with me for display and put it in variable DB one. Then return the view of DB one where customer dot ID equals ID. Maybe here I choose some uh, uh, values for uh, code customer code to to print in the view and keep it in temp data for another controller to use but what uh, our focus is 
about uh, the context, orders context, then filtering by the ID, which I obtained from checkbox.value, that is equivalent to customer ID. I will filter here with that value in the uh, table orders of database uh, context or DB context uh, of Morpho. Return that view, not list uh, enumerable because it is more than uh, one and I enumerable of type I enumerable. Uh, hope uh, that that satisfies uh, your requirement. Uh, it is a simple solution. Uh, I also want to, to show you about uh, validation uh, to try if I choose more than one checkbox and then press order list it will give me you couldn't choose more than one customer or alternatively uh, if I didn't choose at all and then choose about order list please choose a customer with some validation I need and you can put more validation if you select all you will find uh, uh, some other uh, validations in the script uh, don't forget that the link uh, is uh, below the video uh, and the project uh, is contained you will download it from the link I wish you to, to be uh, that the video you, uh, suits your requirement and if so, I will post, I am intended to post other videos the next time. So please subscribe so as to encourage me to add more videos and more projects so as to share it with each other and for all our benefit. Thank you and waiting to see you soon.